Hey everybody, welcome back to GIS Chops. We're gonna talk about something else that Esri has put in their latest version of ArcGIS Pro 2.9, and that is we can now convert graphics to features and features to graphics in ArcGIS Pro. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Here I have a graphics to feature layer. It's a graphics layer, and I'm gonna to come to my geoprocessing pane and search for graphics to features. And there it is, I open it up. It's pretty simple, three parameters, four if you count the checkbox. I'm gonna select graphics to features, and then polygons for the graphics type. If you have more than one graphic in there, it will, it will ask you which type of graphic you want to convert. Then it gives you a default name with the G2F tagged onto the end, and it puts it in your home geodatabase, which is mymapproject.gdb. We'll leave that just the way it is. This checkbox means it wants you to delete the graphic after you convert it. Uh, I don't want to do that just now. I may run another example later on this same graphics layer. So we hit run. Man, is that an ugly color. <laughs> so it added my layer to the map. We look at the attribute table for that. Pretty simple, it has a name field, then just the shape length, shape area, and the object ID. So not a lot on there. You're gonna have to add fields if you want to add fields to that. But uh, other than having a really ugly color, that worked pretty well. Now you noticed only one of my polygons came across, and that's because I have one selected. This one I had selected this graphic here I, I had selected. With most geoprocessing tools, I, I can't remember one that doesn't do this, but geoprocessing tools usually work on the selection. So if you have something selected, it's going to work on that selection. It's gonna ignore everything else and just work on the selection. So either have the selection cleared or make sure your selection is correct that you want to go into your layer that converts to the features. So you can do points, lines, annotation, multi-points, you can do all those different types. Here are all the types here, point, polyline, polygon, multi-point, and annotation. It takes your various types of graphics and puts them into that type of layer. All right, now let's try that going from features to graphics. We're gonna turn on this new parcel layer, and rather than just selecting it here, this is where it is, features to graphics, we're gonna come here and do locate so we can see where in the toolbox structure it is. It's in the conversion tools under graphics, and there's just two tools right there right now. We'll see if any others get added later. So let's go features to graphics. This one only has two parameters and a checkbox. We'll do new parcels as our input, and then it creates, looks like you can't put it into an existing graphics layer, it creates a new one. I'm not sure what this exclude converted features from drawing means. Let's run it and see what happens. Well, that didn't work. So we see the new parcels F2G graphics layer was added to my map and it carried the same symbology as the original layer, but that exclude converted features from drawing. I don't think that worked and unless I'm not doing it right because there they are, they're still there. Turn off the graphics layer and turn on the parcel layer and they're still there. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not doing it right, I don't know. <laughs> So, <laughs> it turns out I was doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but I was thinking about why this wasn't working. And I was drifting off to sleep one night, and it came to me. I said, you dummy, you don't have anything in any of the attributes. I bet that's why it didn't work. So I got up the next day, sure enough, put something in the attributes, then it worked. So, exclude converted features from drawing won't work if all of your attributes are null. Now if I run this, new parcels, it's gonna populate my output graphics. Leave that checked, run it again. Now if I turn off my features to graphics layer, my parcels are no longer drawn. 
And now if we go to parcels, go to the properties, go to selection. Now you can see there's this feature exclusion set group. And this layer contains features that are excluded from drawing. And if you check that clear, now it's going to draw them again. So turns out that my subconscious wanted me to know that I didn't have any attributes. Looks like I lost that now when you clear it. That's how you convert the features to graphics and exclude those features from being drawn in the in the set. So there you go. I, I messed it up and my subconscious wanted me to know. <laughs> so you got to have stuff in your attributes for that to work. That's how you can convert graphics to features and features to graphics. I hope that helped you out. If it did, go down and give that like button a chop and comment with a tool you'd like to see in a future video. We'll catch you next time. Be nice out there. What was that you just did? Oh, that was just, that's karate. <laughs> I didn't know you knew karate. Oh yeah, I've been studying it by mail for years. <laughs> My whole body's a weapon. <laughs>